Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday the 19th of December. I got some changes coming up. Looks like we'll have two, maybe three rain events before Christmas gets here and maybe some strong storms along the way. Let's discuss if we can answer all your questions. A lot of folks are traveling or coming into Alabama this time of the year for the holidays. Let's take a look at the uh, Skycam images off the Alpha Skycam network. First off, coming from Tuscaloosa. The sky generally cloudy, a few little breaks in the cloud cover there. That's looking southeast from the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. On the eastern side of the state, it's cloudy as we look south from Mount Cheha at Cheha State Park. And finally, way down south, haven't checked that sky cam in a while. That's the uh, camera on top of the Phoenix All Suites down in Gulf Shores. Looking uh, right over the hangout, the public beach, Beach Boulevard. The sky there is mostly cloudy. All right, there's the uh, visible satellite imagery, and you can see that uh, we've got the clouds in place up this way and the clouds down south, but actually there's some sunny weather along that U.S. 80 corridor, uh, Demopolis, Selma, Montgomery, Auburn, but the clouds will be increasing statewide tonight ahead of this big, deep, intense storm system over New Mexico and West Texas that is kicking up quite a fuss out there. Temperatures this afternoon uh, as warm as 64. They've got the sun down there. Look at Meridian and Montgomery. They've got mid-60s, but up here, uh, upper 50s and low 60s. Tuscaloosa, 61. Anniston, 59. Birmingham, 55. We'll stay relatively mild for the next five days. That's the uh, temperatures around the nation at uh, 1 o'clock. I'm sorry, 12 noon, uh, 18Z. Very cold behind our storm system in the west, pretty mild in the east, and that's what happens with a positive NAO, North Atlantic Oscillation, and we see no evidence of that changing. You could get cold shots, but they're just not that severe, not that long-lasting. Hey, check that out. How about a blizzard warning in effect from northeast New Mexico up to western Kansas? Pretty nasty out there. In fact, uh, there's the uh, big picture. That's the overall precipitation. And uh, this is a look coming off our graphic system here at the station. The, the white, that's the snow. It's really coming down over southeast Colorado, down toward Trinidad and places like that, western Kansas, down into uh, the far northwest part of Texas around Dalhart, back into northeast New Mexico with rain off to the east in the warm sector. And speaking of the warm sector, there's the uh, convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. Got the standard slight risk of severe weather, roughly from Dallas-Fort Worth down to Houston, the I-45 corridor. And tomorrow, standard risk of severe weather over much of north and central Mississippi and northwest Alabama. That would be mainly tomorrow night into early Wednesday. And that's the uh, day three outlook for Wednesday. Just 5% probabilities of severe weather over central and east Alabama. As, uh, it would seem as though the greater chance maybe of some severe weather west of I-65 tomorrow night, maybe into early Wednesday, as you'll see. Hey, numbers are coming up on the rain uh, maps here. The QPF chart, this is for the next five days, valid through Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. How about two and a half inches here? And, of course, that counts the lead system tomorrow night and Wednesday, and the next one coming in here Thursday and Thursday night. All right, let's get in there and take a look. Model fans, this is the uh, GFS, the 12Z Global Forecast System, valid at noon uh, tomorrow. And you can see part of the energy lifting out of the southwest part hanging back. And down below that, uh, we'll probably begin to see developing showers during the day, the most organized rain off to the west. And then Wednesday begins to wind down. But let's look at the high-resolution RPM. This is at noon tomorrow. Showing a few showers developing, but not much. If you've got something to do outside during the day, you know, you, it might rain on you a bit, but the heavier stuff holds off. And we should be in the 60s tomorrow. In fact, the NAM is showing 69. Uh, pretty mild. All right, this is midnight tomorrow night. There's the storms moving into the uh, Mississippi Delta region. And again, around here, not much happening if this is right. So it might be late tomorrow night. I mean, after midnight before the heavier stuff gets in here. This is 6 o'clock Wednesday morning. Look at the convection flaring on the RPM ahead of that uh, system. Again, this is pretty early in the morning, but by golly, that might be the case, as you'll see. And then at noon on Wednesday, the rain begins to taper off over West Alabama as it moves on to the east. Look at the instability. This is 9 o'clock Wednesday morning. I mean, we've got some unstable air coming in here. I mean, the uh, uh, latest 
runs of the ARP of the uh, GFS and the NAM are showing mid 60s, maybe upper 60s on Wednesday, and uh, dew points approaching 60. Not quite there, but still, that's uh, you know evidence that the air could be pretty unstable even during the morning hours. And look at the helicity. Uh, this is valid six o'clock Wednesday morning. Uh, those numbers are pretty impressive, and this is the low-level helicity, uh, zero to one kilometers. So. Uh, we'll have to mention the chance of strong to severe storms late tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. And I'd say, based on this, the main threat would be from maybe midnight until noon. Midnight tomorrow night until noon Wednesday. It's not a classic setup. No, nothing like, you know, the big spring deals, but uh, one of these cold season systems that could create a few problems. So we'll be uh, watching the radar carefully late tomorrow night to Wednesday morning. All right, Thursday... That system's on by, but look at the, the deal. you got, you know, energy still back in the southwest. A little chunk of that breaks away, and here comes more rain. Uh, heavy rain falling over north Mississippi, around Memphis, Tennessee, back toward uh, El Dorado, Arkansas, Monroe, Louisiana. And that would roll in here Thursday afternoon and Thursday night, producing more good rain for us. And then Friday, that rain is on the way out by midday. And uh, Friday, uh, again, the thickness values aren't that low. Uh, that would still suggest a high maybe in the... Uh, in the 60s all right christmas weekend hey hey this is uh saturday coming off the gfs christmas eve that looks dry cooler with highs in the mid to upper 50s the the model is spitting out 57 and christmas day now looks dry Kind of an agreement with the uh, European runs we've been seeing. You know, we, we've seen the GFS try and bring rain in here, and now there's no rain. And I'm telling you, this is going to be a challenging forecast with two systems to deal with between now and then. I guarantee you that it will change again. The confidence is low. But at the moment, the GFS has a cool and dry Christmas weekend. Let's check the European. It's had a much better track record this season. Now, the European wants to bring in a little bit of light rain Saturday night. This is midnight Saturday night, midnight Christmas Eve as we start Christmas Day. When Santa is making the rounds, uh, the 540 line down to the shoals, maybe a flake or two of snow flurries over Tennessee and Kentucky, and just a little bit of light rain here if this is right. And then we go to uh, noon on Christmas Day. That wave is out of here, and it's just cool and dry with a high in the 50s. So, you know, there might be a little light rain somewhere in there over the Christmas weekend, but the latest runs of the European and the GFS are looking pretty dry. And then Monday of next week, back to the GFS, we are dry as that system is out of here and still the air is not really cold how about new year's day one 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 two and no cold air with that look uh, it's pretty mild and dry and then on the fourth the end of the forecast same deal got the warm ridge over florida energy in the southwest very familiar setup comes out maybe showery mild uh, but there's the deal i'm you know watch that nao and you can see down there in the bottom chart the thing just wants to stay high, strongly positive over the next 15 days and while you can get cold shots and you might have a snowflake in there somewhere it is hard to have severely cold air that would last for a long time with a pattern that looks like that all right that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes on the blog the next video here by seven o'clock tomorrow morning and if you live around here we invite you to watch us on television this evening that's abc 3340 in birmingham at four five six and ten thanks for watching have a great evening and god bless Weather for the